Today we're going to demonstrate how to do Bode diagrams and gain and phase margin uh, using MATLAB. So first we have to put in a system, an open loop system. So I'll build that here and this is from homework 6, the previous homework. So the numerator is shown here. That's in the system now. There's the denominator. I had to convolve some stuff. It's got a free S, a pole at 10, and then a second order pair of poles. So there's the, the denominator. I'll build the transfer function uh, just using the TF command like we've done in the past. There's that. Now I have a transfer function, an open loop transfer function. So to get a Bode plot, just type Bode and put in the open loop transfer function. And there it is. So a Bode diagram has magnitude and decibels versus frequency on the top plot. On the bottom plot it has phase in degrees again versus frequency. So it says Bode diagram. If you want to see what the margins are, the gain and phase margin, just right click on the plot. That's the system G characteristics. We'll just go to all stability margins and there you go. So you have to click on the dot here to, so, to see what it is. So if I click on that dot it stays up and it shows me that the gain margin is negative 7.96 decibels. So that's bad. You want positive gain margin. Let's see what the phase margin is. I'll click there. And again, once you click, you can move the box to a, a better place on the plot uh, visually. And here's the phase margin at minus 24 degrees. Again, negative phase margin is bad. So the system is unstable. And guess what? It says closed loop system stable. No. Same up here. Closed loop system stable. No. But that's how you get a, a Bode diagram. Close that figure. Another way to get a Bode di diagram is to use the margin command. So let's use margin of the same system, G. And that already has the gain margin and the phase margin listed at the top and it shows you how it derives those. So to get the phase margin, you simply find where the magnitude plot crosses zero and then step on down to the phase and read the phase angle off the y-axis and it's referenced to the minus 180 degrees phase. So if you cross the zero magnitude, drop on down to the phase angle, and this thing is below the line of minus 180 degrees, you're going to have a negative phase margin. And I'll shortly show you an example of a positive phase margin. But here, we, right now, we have a negative phase margin. Likewise, to get the gain margin, I go to the phase plot, find where the phase crosses 180 degrees. At that frequency, I go on up to the gain plot. Note that, come over to the y-axis, and we read off the gain margin. And here, if this intersects up here above the 0 dB line, it ends up being a negative gain margin. So this is a, a point of confusion. So watch this. We'll, we'll cover it in class and do as many examples as you have to on MATLAB to try to get the idea here. So in this case, again, I go to minus 180 degrees, come on up with that same frequency, find where it intersects the gain plot, read off the y-axis value, which in this case is 7.96, but that corresponds to a negative gain margin. All right. Let me build a new system. G new equals... 0.25 times G. In essence, I just basically reduced the gain of my original uh, baseline system down to 25% of the original value. All right, let me do Bode of G new. Do the same thing here. Right click, characteristics, all stability margins. Click here, click here, bring that up bring this down. Okay, so now I've got a gain margin of 4 decibels. Positive is good. That means my closed loop system is stable. Yes. My phase margin 16.4 degrees. That's positive. That's good. Yes. Closed loop system stable. Let's try it using margin. G new. Alright, same thing. 4.08 decibels. Positive gain margin, stable system, that's good. Phase margin, 16.4 degrees. All right, let's look at this. So where the gain plot crosses 0 dB, I drop down 
in frequency and I read off the phase value and I go over here to the y-axis and that's what the phase value is and if it's above minus 180 degrees it's going to be a positive phase margin the margin is actually just the difference between those two likewise to get the gain margin and I know this sounds confusing we go here to where it crosses 180 degrees on the phase plot come on up pick off the gain value it's going to be negative decibels on the y-axis but that corresponds to a positive gain margin and again we'll cover this in class it's a point of confusion but you can see here the ND comes out to 4.08 decibels which on this axis is minus 4.8 so that's the gain margin all right another way to get a Bode plot is to use CISO tool and put in a system, we'll use GNU. Hit the go button. All right, so CISO tool brings up both root locus and the Bode magnitude plot and the Bode phase plot. And everything's listed. There's the gain margin, there's the phase margin, here's the root locus. You can see where, uh, right now, where uh, K root locus equals one, and you can move this thing and, and do some stuff here. So let's before we do that, I want to show you an even cooler thing. If we go under analysis, I can do response to step command. There it is. So let me uh, resize this window a bit so we can watch these things next to each other. Pull that up a little bit. Okay, this thing says real-time update, and that's check, and that's good. This green line we don't want, that is a... Uh, that's a response to you. We want a response um, y, R to Y. So that's our, our step response for a closed loop system um, with unity feedback. Here's the root locus. Here's the Bode plot. Here's the step response. So what we can do on this is I can go here and click and move the gain up and down the root locus. And you'll see that the phase plot actually does not change at all. It does not move when gain changes, only the magnitude plot and will slides up and down as the gain changes. But you'll also see, as the damping ratio and natural frequency change in the root locus, you should see the step response also change. So let's try that. We'll click on the pink box and move it. Let's slide it down. You can see right now, live, that the magnitude plot is moving, sliding up and down, just purely translating up and down. The phase plot does not move at all. And you can see the step response changing as the damping ratio and the natural frequency change. So we can do root locus, S domain, Bode frequency domain, and time domain, closed loop response, step response, all simultaneously move uh, on the same plot. So that's kind of a cool thing about CISO tool. All right, so we'll see here that uh, I have more gain margin, more phase margin. As I start increasing the gain, I lose my margins. They get lower and lower and lower. Eventually, when this pink box crosses the y-axis, the system will go unstable, and the gain margin and the phase margin will turn negative. Likewise, you'll see the step response go unstable. So let's keep on going here. We're crossing, getting closer to the y-axis. The margins are coming down, getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And eventually, right on the y-axis, they would be zero. But as we go into the right half plane, they get negative and more negative and more negative. And you see on the right, the set response went unstable. So that's three ways to see Bode diagrams using the Bode command, the margin command, and CISO tool.